Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2018 Subaru Outback Wagon, we're gonna be checking out the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 platform style bike rack. Kuat seems to always kind of give you a couple options as far as, you know, the style of the rack. And what I mean by that is the color combination. So this one's available in three different colors. And, you know, it's just nice to have a couple couple uh, to pick from, you know, that way you can grab the one that you like the best or one that uh, matches your car the best, whatever the case may be. So first impression of the rack on the back of the Subaru, I actually think it looks really good. I really like how it's kind of a compact design, really simple. There's not a ton of stuff going on with it. And, you know, it's just, uh, just has a really clean, modern appearance. And that honestly kind of holds true with uh, a lot of the Kuat stuff. You know, they do a great job as far as quality and uh, fit and finish and things like that go. I was also surprised, uh, you know, quite surprised on how lightweight it was. You know, a lot of these platform style racks, uh, you know, are pretty heavy and kind of make it challenging to get in and out. And this one was pretty light believe it or not. For, for how it looks, it looks like it would weigh a ton. That really wasn't the case. So um, that's always a nice bonus. But with that said, you know, how the rack is gonna work is, uh, is really simple. So why don't we kind of just run through and, and check everything out and how it's gonna work with your Subaru. So one of the big questions that we get asked a lot is if you're still gonna be able to have access uh, to the back of your vehicle when you have a bike rack on it. And one of the things that's really neat about this setup is you can actually tilt it away even when you have bikes on. All right, so there's a lever here and kind of want to hold the rack, you know, while you're doing this, but you're going to pull down on that lever and that's going to drop down and then that's going to give you the space you need to get in and out of the back of your Subaru. So, you know, if you forget something back here or forgot something at the house and you need to throw in real quick before you take off, you're gonna be able to do that and not have to unload all your bikes from the rack. Well, with that said, you know, it's gonna hold your bike down in a couple different spots. So we have a strap back here and um, holding that down. And then a wheel hook up here and it actually does uh, does a really good job of holding your bike down. I mean, the bike do, I mean the bike moves, but it's moving with the rack, so really steady and, and secure. And the cool thing with the wheel hook, you're not going to have any frame contact. So, you know, if you have a carbon carbon fiber bike or, or something like that, or don't want anything touching the frame, it's going to be a great alternative for you. Now let's go ahead and get the bike out of the way though, so we can uh, check the rack out a little bit better. You always want to start here at the back and un undo this strap first. Pretty simple stuff. You just push it on the lever. Flip that out of the way. And then you want to grab a hold of your bike because once we undo this wheel hook, you don't want it to tip over or anything. But you're going to push down on that button, raise that up, and flip that out of the way, grab your bike, and uh, go do some riding. The cradles here are pretty cool. Uh, the back one pivots, which is nice. And, um, you know, the strap is super thick. You're not gonna have to worry about this thing breaking or anything along those lines. The front one, it's actually a pretty cool setup as well. So when you set your front tire in there, you know, the, the, the back of the tire is gonna have some support from this piece. But whenever you're not using the rack, that actually folds down and keeps everything, you know, low profile and uh, and everything else so that's a nice touch i do suggest doing those steps whenever you're not using the rack and also putting the wheel hook back so i like to just push it all the way down and fold it back into position something that we do need to think about is whenever we have the rack on the back of our subaru it is going to extend the overall length of it and to find out how much i'll just take a measurement here we'll go from our back bumper that's probably the furthest point. And with it like this, it's gonna add about 32 and a half inches to the uh, rear of your Outback. So keep that in mind, you know, if you're pulling into a garage or a tight parking spot or uh, something like that. However, when you're not using the rack though, it can be stored in an upright position. 
and that's going to free up a little bit of space and this lever pull that it's going to flip up and you can see it freed up a little bit of space i'll say probably the furthest point will be the knob down here and from the bumper to it that's only going to add about 15 and a half inches so um, you know in this position really shouldn't run into any issues when you do go to pull into your garage or that tight spot so moving on down here this rack is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here on our outback today but if you happen to have the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening which some outbacks do have um, there's nothing to worry about the rack is available uh, for that size hitch as well in all three of those colors that we talked about earlier it is going to come with a locking hitch pin so you know this is going to be secure no one can come up just pull the pin out and run off with the bike rack and it's also going to have a, an anti-rattle uh, feature if you will so when you put this in this knob here at the back you tighten this down and it's going to eliminate any slop or play here in the connection point and it's going to help keep things from bouncing around and, and making a bunch of noise so kind of give you an example of that say if we're going down the road hitting some bumps you can see that the rack is going to move with our Subaru and not, it's not on its own. But other than that, at the end of the day, a rack you really can't go wrong with. You know, Kuat makes really, uh, really quality products. You know, it's super easy to use. It's going to work how you'd expect it to. And it's going to look good. And, you know, honestly, seeing it in this position, especially on the back of the Subaru, you know, if you wanted to leave it back here, I don't think it would hurt at all. And honestly, I think it just kind of adds almost to the adventurous look that the uh, Outback already offers. Now, if you're anything like me, you always want to see what you're interested in actually working or in action. So why don't we go ahead, load up some bikes, go out on the test course and see how this does. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 platform style bike rack on our 2018 Subaru Outback Wagon.